just happened. The plan, sail from Cataquis, Spain to La Ciotat, France. A 128 nautical mile sail that is by nature challenging. This area is known for a wind pattern referred to as the Mistral. High and low pressure cells converge and the wind that is generated is funneled south through the Pyrenees mountain range and the Alps. As the wind is cooled by the mountains, it increases in density and begins to fall and build in momentum, creating sustained periods of heavy wind regularly around 40 knots and in times exceeding over 75 knots. The Mistral is a strong, cold, and gust-ridden phenomenon that has been around since the beginning of time. type 5 PFD so once it's underwater it'll self inflate if it doesn't inflate whenever it's underwater you pull this tab here we got a D ring you could use for a leash if you need to um, otherwise it should fit nice and snug and comfortably and uh, you should feel secure like a professional <laughs> this is a harness with a tether on it out where it comes together to make a T that's gonna go down on your back and then you got the shoulder straps they're like so this strap here you can use to make a jack line I've already got one set up what a jack line is is a jack line is just a secure line that runs the length of the boat so you can clip in your tether to and around the mast you would obviously have on over this your uh, PFD. As we were preparing to make way, the forecast looked to be sustained 25 to 35 knot wind right on the beam. Rolling. So Jackson, you'll head up into the wind. Yep. I'll raise the mainsail. There you'll ease the main sheet. And then um, we've got two reefs in the mainsail already. We might toss it. Jackson braved the helm for the first portion of the sail and we were moving well. hours in we were visited Our naivete led us to believe this was a good omen. The wind grew. Happen. What the happened? Bracket the bracket broke. The brackets holding the davits on the transom both sheared. 
davits were flexing heavily as it was only held on by a few bolts in the cockpit. Quickly I tried to devise a solution to relieve the pressure. The first thing I tried was to tie the davits to the backstay. Quickly realizing the futility of this idea, I remembered that we used the main halyard to hoist the davits onto the boat. I would use the main halyard to support the davits. I tied a rolling hitch and began to tension the halyard. The stress was relieved, but there were many things that I was uncertain about. This is where I believe that I began to make a series of mistakes that turned this mishap into a catastrophe. I feared that the continued beating we were about to take from the remaining 60 miles would be too much for the already weakened davits. So I chose to lower the dinghy into the water and tow it behind, thinking it would be safer afloat than swinging like a pendulum. In a hurry, we lowered the dinghy failing to remove the redundancy line that secured the dinghy to the davits. Now with too much tension on them, the only option was to cut the line. So tie the, bitter, the stopper knot and the bitter into this line. Stopper knot on this line. Many mistakes were made since Cataquist, but a clear rookie mistake was that I had elected to leave the outboard motor in the dinghy strapped to its sole. The dinghy was made fast to the port stern cleat and we resumed sailing on a port tack. Secured to the windward side of the boat, the towing line began agitating the broken davit leg against the hull. I gave the dinghy more slack in hopes that it would alleviate the pressure. As I did this, the stern line that was used to lift the dinghy was made fast to the starboard stern cleat as a loose redundant line. This line then became taut and the dinghy was being dragged broadside behind us. So this is the one on the starboard side. The starboard stern cleat. Starboard stern cleat. What about it? Loose it. Just as I saw in my mind moments before it happened, the starboard side of the dinghy dove and it filled with water and it violently capsized it. This is the only footage we have of that event. Loose the cleat!
not someone you see at night It's not somebody you see in the light That cold and it's a broken hallelujah Hallelujah Hallelujah